We are in my new cafe, my confectionery cafe, Mello Boutique Confections. M-M-E-L-O, which funnily enough came out of a sound that my husband would hear because I, I started kind of doing this in Spain and my husband, people would try my food and people would go, hmm, and it just kind of grew out of that sound. So yeah, that's where Mello comes from. You know, marshmallows have really fallen from grace. They were a confection for kings. And the reason for that is you can do so many things with the flavor and the texture and the, the, you know, you raise it a few degrees and you get like this, a Swedish marshmallow, which is a bit rubbery and that's how they like it. Or, you know, you add a bit of egg white to it and it's like a, it's almost like a foam. The French call that a gouy mauve. So that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of pushing the, the virtues of marshmallows. I grew up just off of Livingston Avenue and the southeast side and went to Ohio State and was just chomping at the bit to get out of town. I traveled all over the world and a lot of that travel actually ended up informing the recipes I design now. In September of, of 2015, I quickly came back to, to the United States, incorporated Mellow contacted a, a, a contact that I had over at Easton Ownership. They gave me this creme de la creme spot on the Strand. I had Louis Vuitton across the street and, you know, Apple on one side or, or Michael Kors on the other. I was mad. That would never in a million years happen in Europe. I was there for eight weeks. Based on the strength of that, I got corporate clients. I got, um, I found the funding for my business. I would never have gotten this far in Spain, ever. Part of, the, um, part of the research that I've done in, in, in food is really trying to make sure that, that I and my team really understand why you make the ingredient choice that you make and how that basically interacts with the human body. That in addition to the, the commitment to using, designing all the recipes around, you know, real food, whole food ingredients, not using uber refined flours, not using uber refined sugars, not using artificial flavors or sweeteners or, you know, all the sort of stuff that we now know we shouldn't really consume. You know, people will ask me all the time, can you do a, a sugar-free treat? And my response to that is, I would love to, but there isn't a natural way to do that. You know, we can do low glycemic, but we can't do sugar-free. I'm not trying to say that Mellow is, is health food, but it is food. It is not junk. It is not made with junky ingredients. There's, there's thought behind the way that it was built and constructed. And a lot of people here in Columbus have done some amazing work in terms of creating the, the food landscape here in, in Columbus. It's, it's, it's so impressive and I'm so proud of my hometown. And I really hope that Mello can contribute to that in a, in a, in a, in a really positive way.